Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the webinar from Golden Corral. We will start in a couple of minutes' time. Uh, we are just trying to connect uh, to our Facebook page where we will be live on there as well. So just stay with me for a couple more minutes and we will start the webinar. Thank you for your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, we were just going to wait two more minutes to give some time for people to join in. Uh, we've got a couple of people uh, that hasn't joined. However, we're going to give uh, two more minutes and we will start.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to the webinar. I apologize for the delay. We were just trying to get everybody time to connect uh, to this webinar. I think we just managed to do that. Uh, just to let you know also that we are live uh, on Facebook, goldencorel.eu. Uh, this presentation will also be recorded. Uh, if anybody has missed it, we will be able to publish it later on on our website and also on our Facebook page and LinkedIn. Uh, so you all have the opportunity to come back to it and learn more about our products and our company, uh, essentially about our products, of course. Uh, so I will touch on a couple of topics uh, in order to show you uh, what it is, what we do uh, and the products and what we have. I can see some uh, familiar names on the on the group. I'm very happy for that. So welcome again. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, just to introduce myself, my name is Misael Machado. Uh, I'm the export sales director for company Golden Corel based in Poland. Uh, and today we will show you uh, a little bit about our company, a little bit about our products, and more importantly, it's a webinar to show you the real potential of the polyhalide itself. Some people call it polyhalide, some people call it polysulfate, polyhalide, but it's the same product, okay? I hope that you can all see uh, the presentation or the first page of the presentation. If there are any issues, please, there's a chat box that you can uh, put in. I, I hope that you can all hear me, you can all, uh, see me well as well but the most important is to see the presentation and a couple of videos that i have to show you um there's a q a answer at the end so please during the meeting if you want to type in your questions at the end we will just review it so i will not review it straight away we will just wait for the q a session at the end and i will go through every single question that you might have and try to answer as, as, as much as i can Okay, so I think we, we're going to get started. Uh, so for the people on Facebook, uh, thanks for watching. For the people already on our webinarium here uh, on Click Meeting, thank you for joining. Today is going to be, the topic is going to be about Belenus Vervactor and the raw material called polyhalite. So Golden Corel, what is Golden Corel? Golden Corel is a conceptual line of mineral compound fertilizers. Uh, for this, we use a technology that is patented. It's called G2D technology, grind to dust technology. So what we do, we purchase the raw material, and I will show you later on more specifically on the raw material itself, the polyhalide uh, material that we buy from our partners, uh, ICL. So mainly, uh, what we do uh, from, uh, from the raw material is grind it with, and, and dust it to, to uh, hundreds of microns. So these fertilizers are based on a mineral rock known as a polyhalide and are marked under the brand name Golden Corel. Golden Corel in Dutch, by the way, you say Golden Corel. And it basically means golden granule. Uh, the G2D technology that I will also touch later on represents a significant leap forward in the field of fertilizers, offering farmers the opportunity to maximize their economic potential while promoting sustainable agriculture practice. By utilizing the mineral rock of polyhalide, these fertilizers bring numerous benefits to farmers and their crops. One of the key advantages of, uh, of our company, Golden Corel, is their ability to improve the soil structure. And by enhancing the soil's composition, composition these fertilizers create a favorable env environment for the farmers. So basically, what we do, we finish where others start. That's what we like to say. Um, furthermore, uh, Golden Corel fertilizers contribute to overall growth of quality crops. It can be used on the conventional farming, it can be used on organic farming, it can be, it can be used on ecological farming. So by providing 
essential minerals, and I will talk about it, I will talk about these minerals uh, in a couple of slides later, is a balanced and efficient manner. These fertilizers ensure that plants receive the necessary elements for optimal development. This, of course, results in higher yields, improved crop quality, and increased profitability for farmers. So it's a win-win situation, to be honest. Again, please type in your questions if you have any. New beginnings. So here you can see a little bit about, about our plant, where we are. We are based in Lubyan Kuyaski. Lubyan Kuyaski is uh, geographically speaking, it's in the center of Poland. Uh, we are not far away from the port of Gdansk. We are not far away from the capital. So geographically speaking, we are based uh, in the center of Poland, Lubyan Kuyaski. As you can see here, I hope you can see my cursor. You see the company that is fully developed now. We have new offices that I will be able to show you also. We have a production plant uh, and also in the future uh, for a development process, we, uh, we have the opportunity to increase our production capacity. We have seven hectares of empty soil at the moment. There's very nice, uh, uh, very nice crops growing in there. Uh, very, very nice and green. However, in Poland, the weather conditions are not very favorable for, for this year. We'll go through that later on as well. However, this is the, 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 the plot that we have additional for increase our company. And how did it happen? How, what is the history behind Golden Corral? Because it was not always Golden Corral. So in 2009, there's, there's the three owners of the company, Michal Gura, which some of you had the opportunity to, to meet Severin Zepeski and also Mariusz Pochiski. There are the three owners that started, uh, the, the first we started up with 2009, uh, we purchased a plot on the site of the former World War II uh, airport, German airport. Very sad story indeed, however, uh, ended up being a good story for us. Purchased the plot on the site of the former airport in Lubyan Kuyavski in 2011, we started, uh, we commenced uh, the construction of a calcium fertilizer company. So in Poland, there was no, uh, say, uh, calcium fertilizer companies that uh, used to grow the product. So we came up with the, with the idea of starting the fruit granulation. Um, also, in 2012, tests of the first granulation line uh, and creation of the first calcium granule or lime, as you like to call it. 2013, we started the production and the first sale. In 2016, new warehouses halls were built. In 2018, the investment process was completed and Paul Kalk in 2018 was ranked among the leaders in the production of granulated calcium fertilizers in Europe. Together, parallel to 2019, uh, we were already in talks with company ICL to start our, uh, let's say, adventure in the polyhalide. So in that stage, in 2019, together with the calcium fertilizers, we were already producing also trials. We we're making trials uh, based on the polyhalides uh, granulation. In 2021, uh, after discussions, we transferred, we sold the company to Lafarge Group, which is a very known company in the cement uh, business. Uh, we started up, uh, just sold it, and we went full on, 100% on, our vision of polyhalides. In 2019, started the work on the new line of mineral fertilizers based on polyhalide. 2020, we commenced it the construction while we were operating Polka. So we started the new compound fertilizer plant here in Lubyan Kuyaski. Actually, it's not far away from this company. It's right opposite our factory, Golden Corral. And in 2021, we've launched a new production line for granulated multi-component mineral fertilizers. In 2022, end of 2022, the completion of the construction works were done and a new office uh, was built. Very happily and very proudly, we can say that in 2023, Belenus, the ecological fertilizer, won the gold medal 
for the International Agriculture Fair in Kielce in Poland. So an amazing recognition for us to know that our product, Belenus, which I will talk about, was ranked among the best ecological products, fertilizers out there. Before I show you, before I show you uh, this, this, this uh, slide, I will show you a video. I will turn on a video which will show you what the Bowlby mine is before we go into the relationship we have with ICL, the, the partnership with, that, with, that, with ICL. I would like to show you a video that will give you in depth how polysulfur is done. Bear with me. This is ICL Bowlby. We are the first and only polyhalite operation in the world. At our mine, we mine, process and manufacture products of polysulfate. We provide this unique natural fertilizer to farmers here in the UK and all over the world. This is the polysulfate story. This is my part in the polysulfate story. We map out areas of the highest quality polyhalite, which the mining team can then extract. This and this is polyhalite, a hard rock mined here at ICL UK. This is then crushed and screened and turned into this, polysulfate. Each skip tips into a holding bin, which is then transferred via the tube conveyor up to the poly plant. Inside the poly plant, after crushing and screening, we produce three grades of polysulfate. We have the standard, the minis, and the granular. Here in the lab, we work 24-7 testing polysulfate ensuring every shipment is top quality. Every granule of polysulfate fertiliser has a very important job to do somewhere in the world. Each wagon holds 59 tonne. We can load approximately 600 tonne an hour.
this is the next part of the polysulfate story. Here at ICL T-Sport, we distribute polysulfate by road and by sea. We load ships which go to UK, Europe and other parts of the world. Today we have got the Tian Lu in, which is loading polysulfate standard, polysulfate granular and polysulfate minis for China. This is our part of the polysulfate story. We are Origin Fertilisers, a manufacturer and distributor of crop nutrition products. Here on site today, we have polysulfate that has arrived straight from the mine. It's gone through our blending plant, we've packed it, and now it's dispatching to local farmers. We're seeing a tremendous increase in polysulfate demand. As farmers recognise that balanced, precise fertilisation is vital for their future. We use polysulfate on our winter wheat and our winter oilseed rape. Essa liberação lenta, a gente nota na balança no final né, da colheita que vem produzindo um pouco mais em relação aos componentes. Polysulfate is a very dense, uniform product spreading up to 36 meters. La aplicación con polisulfato y la mayoría de nuestras plantas son de porte alto. And here you can see a healthier plant and excellent root growth. Presentan hojas nuevas y ante todo, para nosotros los caficultores, hay mayor producción. Bei uns im Betrieb haben wir die Erfahrung gemacht, dass wir durch den Einsatz von Polysulfat 15% mehr Umsatzsteigerung haben in der Kulturfolge. Und das ist gut. The four nutrients with the polysulfate enables us to have a good establishment of the plant, a good crop, a better yield. Try it. Kann es einfach einfach ausprobieren. And that's the polysulfate story. So here we watched, uh, to be honest, the, the, the story behind the polysulfate story, right? Because some of you might have not been uh, familiar what is the story behind polysulfate itself. So polysulfate, uh, like I said, and like the video has mentioned, it comes from a Baldy mine. It's a 200 hectare site located just southeast of the vi village of Baldy. Uh, and on the northeast of North York Moors in Loftus, North England. It's run by ICL, and I will tell you also about, and I will tell you now also about our partnership with ICL. So pretty much we buy uh, the polysulfate from, uh, the polyhalide natural mineral from ICL, and we continue uh, to build a product that is unique, that ICL doesn't currently have, uh, so we grind it, we mill it, we use our technology, as I will mention about our technology in a second, the G2D technology, patented technology by, by us. Uh, and in 2016, what is the story behind polyhalide actually is, is, is quite obvious, it's quite funny actually, because what it was, ICL was digging a mine that was based in uh, potassium salt, the potassium salt finished, and they realized that Underneath it, there's this polyhalide, there's polysulfur, right? So they digged it, it's a thousand meters, more than a thousand meters under the sea level, and they discovered this great mineral that is great, and, and it's great for crop growth, and uh, it's, there's no chloride, it's chloride-free, which has helped us also um, realizing that this might be the product, the right product for us to invest on and to continue to take it to another level. That's what we did. We basically took it, to another level. So this is where our adventure with polysulfate starts. What is polysulfate? As we saw on the video, it is a mineral, a natural mi mineral that is delivered from a layer of polyhalide rocks. It's 1,000, more than 1,000 meters below the sea level. It takes a couple of minutes to get down there. 
and it contained only sulfur bonds. So what is important about this image that we see on the presentation is that, as you can see, there's no chloride, there's no chloride contents on it, which is very important for our soil, which I will talk about. The polyhalide itself is a natural mineral source of potassium, calcium, and sulfur with the lowest carbon footprint. So what we are doing, if, and, and this is what we want to do, we want farmers to believe and to know that polysulfate, polyhalide itself, our products that are based in polyhalide, can one day replace potassium salt. That's what we want in a couple of years' time for the farmers to be aware. Low chloride content or no chloride content which is important for the soil bio microorganism that we have. Important for growth also. It's important to, to, to emphasize that. And what is the difference? What is the difference between polyhalide, which we as Golden Corral call it an echo SOP, between sulfate or potash SOP and potassium chloride, KSI MOP? As you can see, the chloride bonds that you, you currently have on synthetic potassium uh, sulfate, on potassium salt. In potassium salt, there is 46% of chloride. In our product, Melenus, you have, I will show you a little bit uh, in, in the next slides, what is the content, the right content of chloride itself. But the, the, the minerals itself contains 12% of uh, potassium, K2O, 19% of calcium, 5.5% of magnesium and 42% of sulfur. Yeah? So this is, uh, this is something that we, we are proud of, of, of showing, the high sulfur to increase those crops without damaging the soil with chloride. And also we like to say that we have a product that the release of sulfur contained in polyhalide versus other sources. That's what we wanted to show you, compare that the sulfur containing polyhalide fertilizers is available to plants for over 50 days, which means that the plant can fully use other elements such as nitrogen. And our products, Bellenums or Bermacto, they are actually um, increasing those nitrogen levels on the soil. So if you are mixing it with a nitrogen, with an APK or, or a nitrogen based product, based fertilizer, they can be mixed together and they can be very compatible together. And the, the extended availability for the soil is much, much longer. So sulfur in the first stage, for example, within 15 days of applying the fertilizer is available in 50%. And as the process progresses over time, this availability increases. So it extends, of, of course, the, the, actual, the action in the soil and extends the action uh, that the plant is able to absorb it more for longer and additional we avoid the rapid uh, leaching, which can be dangerous. What is the solubility? Potassium, you know, the solubility K from Bellinus, for example, in comparison to KCL and, and SOP. So the potassium uh, available in a polyhalide fertilizer is 100% soluble, and the availability process is extended over time. So what happens is the potassium in the first stage, within five days of applying the fertilizer, is available in 50%. Then the process accessibility increases over time. I would like to show you a video now of how our products are sold. There are many uh, products out there based in, 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 in polysulfate, in polyhalide, that we have a couple of uh, information from the market. It's not maybe soluble. Product is not. It's not soluble at all. And we'd like to show you why our brand, why our products, are one step ahead of the normal products that you have in the market. So please stay with me, and I will show you the product.
So as you as you can see, solubility of our product is full soluble. You have a full soluble product uh, in comparison to polyhalide itself. So it's not enough to have polyhalide. You have to do something with it. So in our case, we grind it, we mill it, and we create the granules in order to have the full solubility in order. So Golden Corral brand, uh, we would say that we talk about our products being a sustained release fertilizers. That we have nutrients such as sulfur, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sodium. And in the first 15 days, 50% of the product is available to the, to, the, to the plants. As the process progresses, it takes up to 90 days for the other 50% to be available for the soil. So, which means for the period of three months, the plants will always constantly have the much needed nutrients for growth, right? So these are elements of release slowly. We talk about control, control release, which prolongs the duration of action in the soil and prevents rapid leaching. We all know the problem that we have with leaching. The rate of nutrient release also depends on temperature and soil moisture, of course. I mean, this year, and that's where I want to return to that, because this year we, at least in Poland anyway, we are having issues with dryness. We are having issues with uh, the weather uh, being too dry, no rain, uh, which has an impact. You can have the best fertilizer in the world. If there's no rain, there's, there's no growth. So with the right, of course, climate change, climate changes, with climate uh, circumstances in the environment, we can have the growth we need with our products, Melenus and Metabacter. So what is the content? We talk about the content of chlorides in the fertilizers. So the high content of chloride in the fertilizers can disinfect the soil. Sometimes the farmers have no idea what they are putting into the soil. They are killing microorganisms. They are killing biodiversity in the soil. They are disinfecting the soil. And they are destroying the bacterial flora. Effect, and it has an effect on the plant ability to absorb water, limit the growth, and development of plants. So what the Belenus has, and what the Verbacter has, they are completely safe for environmental, environmental and plants. So if you look at the Belenus, for one ton, only 13 kilograms of in one ton is chloride. Vervactor, 165, and this is because we use 50-50, we use 50% of the base of salt, 50% of polyhalide. 165 kilograms in 1,000 kilos of Vervactor is chloride. And in comparison to potassium salt, you have 465 kilos in one ton, in one ton of chloride. As you can see, the products that we have, the products that has low salinity index and has a very good neutral pH and is ideal for, uh, for chloride sensitive crops, let's say. I'm not saying that potassium is not going to be used in the future. It will be. Farmers will continue to use. And it's, uh, it's a product that also uh, sustains the plant growth. However, please bear in mind what you are you are doing if you are doing ecological farming if you are doing organic farming bear in mind that potassium salt you are actually killing the soil bacteria that you have in the soil so what does our technology looks like as i said we use the g2d technology uh, it's a grind to dust technology is patented it's a multi-stage that optimizes materials down to tens of microns. Okay, so we get the polyhalides, and I will show you a couple of pictures for you to have an idea. And only the raw material process in this way undergoes under uh, processing. So we get the raw material, we grind it, we mill it, and then it goes into the granulation. Separation of active particles, mixing and aggregation. What it does, it releases the trapped, the trapped uh, sulfates on the rock. So each fully reactive granule obtained is equipped with a smart decomposition of activation system so that the product has the highest performance. Also, very importantly, we do this also to have the complete solubility that we had in the video. 
right? Without that, the sellability would be at very low level. Yet allow us to produce a product that is perfect in its form, which works almost double in everything. So what we do, we get the polyhalide, as we said, we get the G2D technology, grind, millet, and then granulate to Belenus and Berbank. And what does the G2D offer? As you can see on the graphic here, we have a comparison on A, you have the solubility, on B, hygrocospicity, and the C, availability of activated sulfates for 30 days after the application. So as you can see, both products both works almost double. And this is tested. This is tested. This, there were analysis done uh, in soil to prove this. So anybody that has, would like to start cooperation with our company, we are able to give you proof of this, what we show you on the graph. We come down to our products. Okay, so we spoke about the polysulfate. We watched the video of polysulfate. Uh, of polyhalide, of the mine. We talked about the important minerals that it contains. And now we're talking about our products. Well, at the moment, we have two products. One product name is called Belenus. This is an ecological for ecological farming, for organic farming, and for conventional farming. That it contains 12% of potassium, 19% of calcium, 5.5 of magnesium, 6.5 of sodium, and 42% of SO3. And then we have the Verbactor, which we use. Uh, as a mix with potassium salts, those 30% of uh, potassium, 50% of calcium, 3% of magnesium, 5.5 of sodium, and 22% of sulfur. Again, high sulfur, high potassium, and on Belenus we have less potassium because of the chloride content, but we do have higher sulfur content. When it comes to the polyhalide but versus the Belenus and the back, so what it is, so go and corral granulates the polyhalides using the G2D technology to produce Belenus and Verbacto. This is point number one. Point number two, granule polyhalide provides high solubility that the polyhalide itself, the mineral rock, doesn't have. Plus, it offers optimal release of nutrients. 98% of the product in the form of granules measuring from two to six. Of course, we can change this. I know that some markets as two to five, we are able to change the, the, the millimeters down to five millimeters, up to five millimeters, or even higher, up to eight millimeters, as it is used here in Poland. So we are able to do that very, very quickly. So 98 of the, the products has a substance pH, very neutral, 7.7 pH. As you can see on the picture, there's ICL polyhalide fresh rock, and then on the above picture, we have the golden corel products. So what is Belenus? We call it Belenus an echo SOP, echo SOP, ecological mineral fertilizer Belenus. So as I said, 12% of potassium, 19% of calcium, 5.5% of magnesium, 6.5% of sodium, and 42% of sulfur. So this is the contents that we currently have on the Belenus. Six reasons to choose it. Echo SOP, granulated fertilizer on based on polyhalate that is chloride free. This is point number one. Point number two, a safe source of natural sulfur, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. There's no, cal there's no chemicals in it. So that, I've got many questions about if what is the chemical composition, what is the chemicals involved, no chemical process is, is involved in Belenus or Belibacter. Everything is natural. We take it straight from the ground, we pull it, we mill it, we grind it, we use it for a fertilizer. High solubility, as you were able to see it on the video. Full solubility on the product, extended plant availability, no effect of oxidation, salinity, and elimination of soil bacteria, which means our products are great for ecological and organic farming. For use before sowing, top dressing, so it can be used throughout the stages of agriculture. Farming and gardening also, bear in mind. And of course, the last point, our technology is patented. I fully welcome you, all of you. I know we only have 15 minutes to try to make this short as possible, but please make your questions on the chat box so we can go at the end through it and I will be 
uh, happy to answer any questions that you might have. Again, uh, about the, the Belenus, we have the, the ECHO certificate that I will be able to show you. Mineral fertilizer, uh, inorganic macronutrient. These are the nutrients that we have. We have the documentation, full documentation for it. 12% of potassium oxide soluble in water. 19% of the calcium, 7% is soluble. 5.5% of magnesium is soluble. The 6.5% 6 of sodium oxide, 5.5% is soluble in water. And the, from the 42% of the total sulfur oxide, 38% is soluble. So the solubility levels are great. Of course, the high proportion of sulfur, which is very important for uh, improvement of plant growth, um, irreplaceable and unique source of ecological potassium. Sulfur fertilizer for use in ecological farming. And also now, we just got it now, organic certificates as well for organic farming. So if any of our clients was asking the questions um, about organic farming, if we have any paperwork for organic farming, yes, we do. We have a full certificate for organic farming. Especially recommended for oil seed crops, but we will go for all crops in here. If it's fruits, if it's trees, if any crops, you can use uh, Bellenus. G2D technology, multi stage, again, atomization, separation, mixing, and aggregation of active particles to release those trapped mineral sulfates that the polyhalide has. And then here you can see uh, the ECHO certificate that we currently have also to be added to the presentation is the organic um, certificate that we just achieved. The Vervactor is, we call it a mineral potassium fertilizer, so high in potassium, um, also high proportion of potassium in combination with sulfur and calcium with magnesium and sodium reduce content of toxic chlorides only 16.5 percent compared to potassium salt that has 46 percent for use before sowing top dressing again same as melanus for vegetable crops and agriculture crops high solubility again and extended availability for plants no effects of salinity and oxidation of the soil and again patented formulation all crops high potassium with low chloride, 16.5% of chloride only in this product, compared to the 46% of the potassium sulfur. So what it is soluble, so 30% is soluble in water, 15% of the calcium, 7% is soluble in water of the calcium, 3% of the total magnesium, 2.5% of magnesium is soluble in water, 5.5% of sodium oxide, 4.5% is soluble. From the 22 sulfur trioxide, 19% is soluble in water. Source of readily available fully soluble potassium in a sulfate chloride form. Gradual release of nutrients and prolonged availability. So we talked about that. We talked in the first 15 days, 50% of uh, the availability from the minerals are on the plants already. So we get up to 90 days to get the full solubility of the product, to get fully soluble uh, to the soil. Granulate for pre sowing and post sowing again, throughout the stages of agriculture. Full solubility, no salinizing or oxidizing effect on the soil for agriculture and vegetable crops. And again, using our amazing G2D Nodens technology, a multi-stage technology technology that we use in our company. So the Vervactor itself is a fertilizer that is made of a natural rock, which is polyhalite again, with the addition of uh, potassium salt. So what we do is 50-50%, 50% of polyhalite, 50% of potassium salt. Therefore, the composition, there are links between sulfate chloride elements, which means the degree of salinity is lower than the similar fertilizer of this type. Low chloride content, 16.5%. Again, Golden Corral fertilizers are dedicated to all crops. 
ladies and gentlemen, this was our uh, presentation, a bit of more to make you aware of the polyhalide itself, of what it is to have a product like Belenus, a product like Verbactor, that in my opinion, it will replace potassium salt in a couple of years. The fact that polyhalide itself, that we took this product into another level, we, we talk about solubility, we talk about having the product great for the farmers, we're talking about growth. This is our product, ladies and gentlemen. And polysulfate itself will be the future of, our, of agriculture. You can mark my words that polyhalide itself is the future. I welcome any questions that you might have. There is a chat box uh, that you can add in your questions. We will just be waiting a couple of minutes. I will answer one of the questions that my, people might have, and I get asked a lot. What is, uh, what is the, what is the um, relationship with ICL? So we are partners from ICL. ICL is our supplier. We have a contract with ICL that allows us uh, to manufacture our products into what they are. So yes, we are safe when it comes to the supply of polysulfate. There's a question already. I'll try to put it on the Q&A. Okay, Dr. Prakash Goda. Good, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Prakash. Polyhalide moisture, is it 100% soluble? So, two questions. Polyhalide moisture. 3%, we go up to 3%. Any questions have been asked if we can bring it down uh, to down to 1% moisture, even below 1% moisture. We are in the process of doing that. We will be, uh, that, I think that's our next step in terms of developing uh, the product. At the moment, uh, the technology that we use makes the moisture up to 3%. Depending on the batches, of course, depending on the batches, sometimes we get results around 2%, 2.5%. But uh, it's certified as up to 3% moisture. If it's 100% soluble in water, yes, it's 100% soluble. Murdi Yadav. Dr. Murli, good afternoon. Very nice to see you here active. Have you increased the potassium up to 13? 0.5% as per our requirement. This is, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is a requirement in India uh, that has to be. Uh, at the moment, we are working on it. So I will be sending a uh, very short email, very sh uh, shortly, I'll be sending an email uh, to Nadesh about this, this topic. We are working on it. I think this is doable, um, but we still have to do some internal, internal testing. Thank you for your question, Dr. Murley. Very nice to see you active in here. There's somebody writing. We'll just wait a couple of more. Please ask your questions. No questions are uh, are silly. Everybody's allowed to ask the questions. I will answer them as much as I can. If I cannot, uh, I'm not able to answer the question, then uh, I will try to I will try to answer it on the email. Okay, what is the recommendation in field and vegetable crops? So we always say that the minimum, we go into a minimum to a maximum, to the crops itself is 200, 250 kilo up to 400, 450 kilo. So that, that is the levels of what we use. Of course, uh, I, if, you, if you leave your email address uh, after this, uh, there's my contact details. I will try to put my contact details available here. Just give me one second. Uh, you can send me an email. Uh, so I can get in contact with you uh, and sending you the list, the dosage list for every single crop, okay? So there's my email address, uh, machado at goldencorel.com. Uh, please be getting in contact, be in touch, and I will answer any questions that you might have on there as well. We still have about around nine minutes. I will wait for a couple more questions to come. There's one more question. Oh, this is about, okay, this is about the, uh, have you reduced the moisture 3% to 
we are this is our next step this is our next step we understand that to enter some markets as india um, we do need to get the moisture down up to one percent we are working on it it's something that it's, it's going to become part of our uh, next step into developing our products at the moment as i said it's up to three percent Please feel free to ask more questions. I'll be more than happy to answer the question. A lot of people ask us if, uh, if Golden Corral itself uh, has a mine. No, we don't have the mine. We buy from ICL. ICL currently owns a mine in Bolby in the United Kingdom. and They are our suppliers. So it answers maybe a question that maybe uh, the doubts are in the air. We only have um, only have uh, the production capacity to produce. Questions from Raivis Koskins. I hope that I'm pronouncing it right. I, I really hope. I apologize if I'm, if I'm not. Uh, Raivis is asking, any plans to produce and consistent fertilizers? Should I say yes? Should I say no? We are we are developing something. We are developing something. Something. Uh, we are working on very very special fertilizers. Uh, however, it's still it's still under the R and D lab. Uh, yes, it might be a case of having an NPK ecological NPK uh, very soon. From us. Yeah, we have a more questions. Romeo Amaral Jr. Boa tarde, Romeo. Boa tarde. Is it possible to use Varivactor or Belenus in a mixture to meet customer recipes? Romeo, we are in the process of testing this in France. Okay, so we are uh, in the process to see if our products will be uh, good enough for blending. We would like to believe so. Uh, we would like to believe that our products is able for it's, it's going to be used for for blending, uh, which is a very big thing in, in South America, mainly in Brazil, not only in Brazil, but in Europe as well. We can see that more blending companies are trying to reach us and, and see uh, if, we, if we can mix this product, if, if we can mix this product with other products. We would like to say yes, we have not tested this as ourselves. We have sent uh, some samples to a company that are doing the testing for us. So as soon as I know this, I will be the first one to come back to you, Romeo, and let you know. Um, hopefully, in our next meeting, uh, I will be able to give you the good news. What is the percentage use efficiency of all four nutrients when applied through soil? Dr. Prakash Golda, we would like to say that that is 100%. Uh, the testing is, uh, as I, I think I showed you, uh, there's a, a percentage. Uh, and please, Dr. Prakash, leave your or send me an email uh, so I can get in contact with you. Uh, or maybe you will WhatsApp. If you can get, get through my WhatsApp, I will send you some documentation that uh, approves that. Okay? I will send you that to you. I think we had the pleasure to meet at IFA. I'm not sure. I think we did. Do you have any more questions? I like Raivis. I like the question about the end, the end consistent for plasma. I think this uh, this is going to be our future as well. So uh, we 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 are going to come up with something. But, uh, it's still under undergoing stages. But I, I can confirm that we are in our R and D lab. We we are doing some testings. Yes, as we do every time. We we try to uh, uh, to surprise the, the farmers to surprise the the distributors as well. Again, Dr. Morley, I will come back to you today on this moisture percentage and potassium. I hope I hope my voice is not very low. I mean, my voice is a little bit deep, but I'm trying to to talk as as louder as I can for everybody to hear. 
Have you replied on moisture percentage and potassium? Dr. Murley, I don't know if you heard me, but uh, the moisture, we are working on the moisture. So our moisture um, is still at 3%. I think the next stage is to be working on it to become 1%. And this will be part of our plans for development or future development. When it comes to the potassium, it's something that we are also working. I will come back to you today uh, with some answers. So I hope that you were able to to hear me well now. Thank you for your question, Dr. Morley. Thank you very much. Any more questions? I will give it another minute and then I will just go through what is the next stages, what is the next plans, what is the next plans for uh, for uh, further webinariums or further presentation of our company uh, because of, uh, of, of our client space uh, in South America. Uh, I, I thought that making a presentation, the next step will be making a presentation in Portuguese. Okay, so a Portuguese language uh, webinar will be coming. I will let you know, I will all let you know the dates uh, and there will be a presentation also in Spanish, okay? So I will uh, do two presentations separately so so I can, uh, so everybody can understand it quite well. Okay, how many tons do you produce per year? Belenus, Raivis. Raivis, we produce, uh, last, I will tell you a little bit about last year. Last year was a very good year, we produced around 50,000 tons, we have capacity to produce 100,000 tons. However, 100,000 tons is the full capacity. 50,000 tons were produced last year. That's the answer for your question. However, to, to be precise, we still have an empty plot of seven hectares to increase our production capacity very quickly, very quickly, uh, within months, I would say. So if we see that we, the demand is growing and we see that uh, more and more client orders are coming, we will be able to uh, res respond very well and very rapidly to the demands from the market. So to reply to your question again, 50,000 tons were sold last year. We have capacity up to 100,000 tons. Oh, I can see somebody's writing. Maybe one more question. I will try to check our Facebook page, see if there's any questions. I don't think there is. Just try to have a look. Okay, there's no questions on Facebook page. Let me have a look if... All the best. Wish success with all your plans and fulfill empty plot. I, I do hope that. Thank you very much, Ravish. Uh, I do hope that is our 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 focus is to go for growth. Is to go for growth. So and and of course we we are waiting and we are depending very much on your help in in order to help us to grow and put the. Uh, the product, these amazing products out there in the market. I mean, this is the future of agriculture. Mark my words that this product will be um, will be the future of agriculture. There are very big plans on polyhalite in the future. Thank you, Rutra. Good wishes as well. Also, I will come back to you today. I can see that there are many contacts from, from, from my list. Uh, Rutra is one of my, I would say, good friends from India. Um, thank you very much for your presence, Rutra. Thank you very much. I think we are uh, going to come to an end. We're going to finish our webinarium. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being present. Any questions that you might have, please do not hesitate to uh, get in, in contact with me, either with me or with Michal Kruger, which is I would say my right hand in here in uh, uh, in the exports is with the person responsible uh, for the back office. So please get either in contact with me or in contact with Michal 
You can add me on WhatsApp. I'm also on LinkedIn. You can go on LinkedIn. Uh, I fully recommend to like our page. I will put the page here, goldencorel.eu. Um, so have a look. We have all the products available there. Also on our Facebook page, please um, put a like on our Facebook page, goldencorel.eu. Uh, again, my name is Isal Machado and I've been your presenter for today. We will see you very soon. The plan is to be in Slovakia in August and in Lisbon in October, where I will be a presenter in the conference by Argus. So this is the next plan. The online plan is to do another webinar in Portuguese and then do it in Spanish. Thank you very much. And anything, just please get in touch. I will be more than happy to help you. I send my greetings to all of you. Thank you very much and have a, a great afternoon. Thank you.